Good evening. I'm Michael Felaguerra, and I'm with LogicalSignals.com. And tonight I am bringing the Elliott Wave update for the NASDAQ 100 for Sunday, March 28th, 2021. And this actually will be uh, valid for <clears throat> trade on Monday, the 29th. Um, where we left it coming into Friday's trade, that we were looking for a minute wave two to complete, and then for a minute three to begin. And that would be a more of, as I was describing, a three of three move. And in this case, it would be down. And what we were looking for at the time was for when and if that began, that it would start to break below moving averages on the hourly chart, uh, which it did, and that it would start to break below uh, Fibonacci support. And that's the part it failed. It didn't really break through the levels that we needed it to break to get on its way down to getting below the previous low or the low that still stands at 12,609 or 610. And so, and then it reversed and it went up and then it did a ABC down and then proceeded to just rally like a bat out of hell. And it, it this was all expiration and these were quick and intense moves and the buying was just persistent for about an hour and a half on Friday afternoon. And I believe totally um, tuned into the expiration that was happening on that particular day because we were watching different stocks just kind of blow through strike prices, et cetera, et cetera. And that just forces a lot of adjusting and a lot of trade. In any case, it was one for the books because it was so tradable, but you just had to really put aside everything and just trade it. And what I mean by that, and this is really the helpful part, folks, because it's like it's one thing to have an idea of where we believe the market's going to go and we've got uh, break points and we've got Fibonacci levels. And so we can really plan a trade. But when a trade happens suddenly and it's happening in a direction that you're not really expecting something to accelerate like it did, you're expecting the acceleration to come in the other direction. Well, when it didn't and it happened going up, it, it really, as, as an Elliottician, it throws that count on hold until I can step back and take a look at the market. And that's kind of what I'm gonna do coming next. But what I, the point I'm trying to make is like when that thing took off, when this market took off, it was evident they're just buying. And every little pullback, every little pullback of just even a few ticks just opened the door for the next buy to come through. And this went on right through to the bell. Then they started to sell it after the bell. Now, my point is, it's like when you're caught kind of off guard, but the trade is there, you got to put all aside and you got to trade. It. You got to buy it. Because it, 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 in the first, there was a one minute bar that I looked at, folks, and this thing moved $56 in one minute. In one minute. And so when it moves like that, that's big money when you're trading. You're in and out, and I'm telling you, it's big money, and you don't want to miss it. So point, trade what's in front of you. Now, let's go over the analysis, because what I was looking to do before, as I said, was to put a, a minute wave two right here, and then we we're going to begin. When it didn't, the wave three is still going to come, but I put it on hold, and I really had to trade what was in front of me, because it was very tradable up, and it was very tradable down, but they were fast. Now here it says on an hourly, but these, the decline may have lasted over an hour, but it came in fits and spurts. And when it did, it was fast and it just kind of happened. And then it might have paused and just hold, hover around a particular area and then it happened. So it, it was good and the trading was good. But I noticed that what we did is that when I stepped back, I'm still looking for a minute wave two, but as I've discussed, Corrections are not always the easiest thing, A, to count, and B, to really figure out which one is taking place, because there are about 14 different combinations that can be put together. And in, in a study of Elliott Wave, uh, I definitely go into detail on what you, each one of those are. 
but they come from what I'm going to describe right now, just instead of just a one ABC in the direction counter trend, it, it ends up being a double ABC. And what separates the two is a three wave X wave. That's the kind of where it comes in. You're like, what? So that's what happened. But at the moment when it was happening, I preferred to trade rather than actually pay attention to, oh, I've got to get this count down. Um, that would become secondary to the trading. And, and once the market makes it clear, it, then it, you're going to be able to see what it is. In any case, ABC, X, and another ABC. So this would be called a double ABC separated by a next wave. There are moves called a triple. So in which case you get an ABC, X, ABC, X, and then another ABC. And that's still out there. That could be happening. But for the sake of our count, I've thrown a two up there. But now having said that, and I'm going to quickly flip down to the shorter terms. And <clears throat> well, this is a 30 minute chart and we can see the internals of, oh, excuse me, I need to actually go back out there and I need to put um, our Fibonacci's on that I want to use. Uh, so let me do that real quickly because it's going to, I need to look at the downside and then I'm going to discuss um, the pattern and we'll be able to see what we may be looking at. So let me quickly put this into place and so we now have our Fibonacci's in place. I'm going to go back down to the other one. And what we're going to be looking for, if I'm going to put this two up there, which I did. Now what I'm looking for, if this is going to be the start of a minor third wave, then what we're looking for, or excuse me, a um, minuet third wave or a minute third wave, this is the sub-minute level. So we're looking for the first wave down, the first five down that would be on this level. That's then gonna get labeled as um, a, a one, a, a wave one coming off. What it needs, of course, and this is on the 30 minute chart, it needs a new low below that. Right now, we see that the 50 day moving average is holding. And because of that intent rally, the um, 200 remains above the 50. But you can see it was starting to turn higher. This remained flat. Those had already turned higher. So we, if we're going to get a continued rally, these moving averages are going to move right up. And that 200 is going to be on the bottom, which is going to signal that we've got more upside to go. Right now, that's not the case. In fact, the 50 is below the 100. The 100 is below the 200. If this turns lower with any intensity, this 50-day moving average is going to get broken. And that's going to give us a better indication because by then this will have moved the four and the eight would have come down and all been pointing lower. Then we're going to be in alignment to go down. Look at how even on our, our one minute chart, they're all kind of bunching up together, but that's kind of what the market's doing right now. So we, that remains totally, who knows? It's so it's sideways and that's exactly what's being represented. On the five minute chart, um, kind of the same thing but it's more so in line to go up because we have the 200 and the 100 is above the 200 and the, um, the 50 is above the 100, but it, in the 20, and this is where it gets all bunched up. So if it's gonna go up, that needs to straighten itself out so that it relieves the pressure on the 50. The, the 20 is gonna remain above it and the, and the eight is gonna remain all above that. And that would help to resolve that, but that's even more bunched up. So we're going to have to wait and see. And the market is being reflective of that. But if it is going to go down, it needs to begin to accelerate. Now, having said that on a very intraday basis, and this could happen overnight before we even get to tomorrow on the US trade, if we get that five down, then I'm going to be looking for an ABC up. Not big, not going to the roof. Um, in fact, I wouldn't expect, I would expect the sell pressure is going to be more intense than the buy pressure. So the buying would be capped because sellers are going to start moving in and they're going to sell some and the buyers might come in, take a little bit, and then they're going to pound it back. 
So I do think that that would be the case, but nonetheless, I'd still would need to see a three-way rally up and then the fireworks to begin. Hopefully this all waits until we get back on board tomorrow morning, unless you trade all night. In that case, trade Globex and have a party. Um, in any case, if the market goes up from here, then we do have <clears throat> choices that this ends up being an X wave and we're into the next ABC. There are Fibonacci relationships between the two, but, or between the three, um, but we'll discuss that if, if and when it should happen. And then we can use some of those Fibonacci relationships in trying to determine where it's gonna end up. Again, when we move back out to the larger chart, we know that, that if, if this is still gonna be a um, minute two, then it still cannot go beyond the starting point of the minute one, which is right here. So it could not get above that. And we've already been above, um, well, no, actually we haven't, uh, 13,000, we've been well above 12,900 and got almost to 13,000 on this particular one, but we've got to go back. To last week in order to get to that level. So we did not on five. And I actually think that 13,000 would likely continue to contain it. It'll flow over, but I'll write up about this level. I would hope it would contain um, upside until we get back on board tomorrow morning, and then we can see what more clearly is going on. For now, I am going to continue to leave this as a two. This is workable. This I think is complete, so it's an ABC. So either we're gonna get a triple or it's gonna fall over. And we're gonna continue on the downside track. Ultimately, I still have these same Fibonacci's up that I'm looking for at least, at least a move down to uh, 12,560 to 62, somewhere in there. And we'll be breaking below that, that uh, previous low, <clears throat> which we definitely need to see for wave three, um, and so that would be first, but I really believe that the power of this wave, once it gets going, it's going to start reaching all of these levels down here and ultimately down towards 12,185. will be totally within the realm of reality. That's what I'm looking for. So I believe that upside remains limited. And uh, I, I just, I at this point, I'm not sure what would have to come out to convince everybody that to stop exactly what they're doing, reverse all positions, go long the moon. I, I don't know. Could it happen? Of course. Um, and I'm not married to downside. It's just what I am expecting because of what I'm seeing via the chart and via uh, relationships between all of this. And so tomorrow, <clears throat> continued downside initially. Remember, we're a day trader. We trade off these short-term charts. <clears throat> initially, we're just looking for maybe a trip and a test back down here. At uh, we we need to see it below twelve thousand eight forty-five because that's the previous low. If it's going to make a fifth wave, it needs to go below there, and then put in a, a three-wave rally back up into this area more than likely, and then the fireworks, okay? So that would be my first expectation. And I want clean breaks, but I, I believe that the, that the small break will come on a, on a fifth wave down. Um, and if it doesn't, then we may have to accept that this completed uh, five down off of that high. So, if it starts to break here and then it just continues to head, then we know that that third wave is in force and we'll do this. So it's gonna continue. It should move in five waves down, three waves up, five waves down, three waves up. That should be the pattern as we move ourselves lower. If we started getting three waves down, then it's a different picture and we need to look at it more cleanly. Um, that's it for today. And I am hoping everybody has a great trading day tomorrow. And the next update will be on Monday, the 29th.